most things in life I'm not very passionate about, right? There are just a few handful of things that I'm, I genuinely am passionate about. I was thinking about how the attitude makes such a big difference. So for the things that I'm not passionate about, for example, if I had the job of like repainting my home, which I would hate to do, right? If I started repainting it and there was any setback, that would be an utter nightmare for me. Like it would completely paralyze me. Even small setbacks would be really, really painful. However, for things that we really, really enjoy, that we're really passionate about, even setbacks can can have this like invigorating effect. So uh, I'm actually working on a project right now, and it is it is something that I'm. It's a project for something that I'm passionate about, but it is literally kicking my ass. Like everything that I'm doing is not working, not moving the needle. And so if I if I did not have like hundred percent in terms of passion, enthusiasm, I don't know how I could continue. But because I do have that enthusiasm, I'm like, my brain is like constantly saying, wait a minute, what am I learning here? Wait a minute, we can improvise by doing this one slight thing slightly differently. Oh, let me just rework the whole concept. And so there's this like internal fuel that's propelling me forward. Someone who didn't have passion would probably have had the same degree of failure that I'm having right now. But the difference is that I have that shift in attitude and that accrues over time and it's just a really interesting concept how how being passionate about something even in the face of utter failure is a motivating force